Okay, welcome to IT Online Classes. I'm Chita Maram, but the best you can tell. So today I'm going to teach you on how to start. So studying don't just start from nowhere. What I'm about to There are certain steps you need to follow when you're starting. So as as a beginner, as a beginner, if you find it difficult, very difficult to start, as a beginner, this is how you start. So this video is just for beginners. Okay? So the first thing you do if you're a beginner when you want to start, the first thing you do, like if you are studying from the classroom or maybe in the room. The first thing you do to remember things easily. You can press different things. Press different things. For example, you can press cog somewhere. You put a bottle of water somewhere. What else? You put a toothbrush somewhere. You can put different things, small things, small stuff that you use every day. Like for a toothbrush, you use every day. A cog you use every day. You can also use a box of vaseline, what and what. Else. You press them in a different location. So as you are starting there, the first thing you do, for example, if you are studying, uh, let me say, a topic, which topic can I talk about? Just any topic, okay? You say, you are studying a topic here. Let me put a topic, any topic, give me a topic. Friction. Okay, let's say friction, okay? You are studying friction here. You are studying friction here. So, and we know that friction, for the definition of friction, just of course that opposes motion, right? Just a force that opposes what? Motion. But let me just go there to the advantages and disadvantages of what? Friction. Let me go to advantages. Advantages. Okay? So, we say the best advantage, friction enables what? Walking. Enables walking. Okay. So, now, so for some people, it's very difficult to even remember this most of enables walking. So as you are starting there, you say, if you want to remember, you say, the first point is enables walking, you say, this is what? This is cockage. So as you are starting, the moment you think of cockage, because you are seeing it there, even in the exam, the moment you think of cockage, automatically this one click in your mind. This is psychology. That's what happens. So use most stuff. So say, this is what? Cockage. The next thing, let's say, friction. Helps us to generate the use of things. So helps in helps in use heat generation. Okay. Can okay, I say this point here? Help in in use heat heat generation. Let's say this what what can we say here? Let's say maybe Pittsburgh. So the moment you be in the exam, the moment you check on the gold question where I'm finishing, the moment you think of cogate, because you are pressed somewhere and you say cogate is what is the first question in the okay. The moment you think of cogate, it will help you remember that answer immediately. Or it will help you to have an idea of that topic. For example, for a second one helps in this three generation, toothbrush. The moment you think of toothbrush, because you use it every day, the moment you think of toothbrush, this answer will definitely come. So I think this is a small tactic on how you can start for beginners. Press different things. Press different things. And don't start under pressure. You don't start under pressure. Even if you have an example model, don't start under pressure. You just press different things there and you start bit by bit. You don't, don't aim to finish the entire topic in a day. Just start bit by bit. If it is on friction, if you can start, if you can define friction, you have the advantages and disadvantages of friction, and you have pressed different things, and you're able to remember this when you are, you are good to go. And I think another strategy on which you can start: start before you go to bed. Always start before you go to bed. And this this one works for me. Start before you go to bed. So when you start before going to bed. As a beginner, I think it will be hard, but when you start before going to bed, some people, you dream about those things. Sometimes you start by forcing yourself. You are sleeping while well, you start now memorizing what happened every day. Not until one day you dream about those things. So people, some people, they will dream about the same things they are from starting. So that's the second strategy. Start before going to what? To bed. So that's another strategy there. The other strategy, the other strategy, especially for information subject or courses, the other strategy there is, and this is the best strategy. For example, for example, let's say we want to, let's say we 
on those prefixes. Let's say the prefixes there. You know that the prefixes are this. Prefixes, okay? So on prefixes, we know that the first one, not the first one, or what? Is it Deca? Something like Deca. 10 to the power 1, 12 hectare. 10 to the power 2, then of kilo. 10 to the power 3, number 4 of mega. 10 to the power 6, so mega is equal 5, giga. 10 to the power 9, then of tera. 10 to the power 12, then from here I have from there I'll go to what? Is it beta? From beta, this is 10 to the power 2, which is 15. Okay? Then from there I go, I think you go to, is it exa? 10 to the power 18. Then from exa I go to zeta, 10 to the power 21. Then you go there from this is the last one I'll do. Yota or Yeta. 10 to the power 24. Okay. So now, this, the other strategy here, you need to start making shortcuts or small letters that you can easily memorize. So, I know the number of students here. So, we are saying Deca, Hector, Kilo, Mega, Giga, and Tera. These are common. The number of students are quite big is what? To remember. But when you come here from Peta, Exa, Zeta, Yota, it will be very difficult for you to remember this way. So this is what you do if you want to study quickly. So just create a letter. Say from P up to up to here. You can create it. The first one is here. P E. So let's say P E. Then this one Z. Then this one what? Y. So you just say from here, just say pencil. You end them. Alright. So create letters or create letters. So the moment you say pencil. You know that this is beta, exa, zeta, yota. It's the simplest way to memorize things. So, as you are starting, learn to create words. Learn to create words. And it's very easy for you to remember even in the exam. Okay? And I think for today, I think these are the simple strategies for beginners. These are simple strategies for beginners. And on my next video, I think I'll talk about how do you start calculations. How do you do calculations? How do you become a mathematics pro within a month, within a week? I think I'll talk about that because on calculations, it's very much easy because you're dealing with numbers. That doesn't talk. So it's very much easy. So next, next time, 